Hey, check this out. There's a new Insta361R update with a really cool new effect. It's a new feature for the Insta361R. It's called freeze frame. Freeze frame. And what it does is it slows down time to a crawl. Not stops it. Not stops it because that that's just the pause button. Like you know how in movies, the hero and the villain will be punching each other and then they'll show this punch here to the face. Ah, and then at that moment, see the face deform. It's kind of like that. But we've seen slow motion before, Mick. What's so different about this? So the cool thing is we're going to be capturing the video in 30 FPS, but the 1R app will slow it down to, I don't know, around 480 FPS, maybe more, maybe even 900 FPS. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see later. Now here's an Insta 361 art freeze frame sample and tutorial. All right, so here's a 360 video that I shot at Universal Studios. So we did this before COVID, obviously. And let's say we wanted to apply the freeze frame effect here. So I just scrub the video to the point where I want to apply the effect. Then I tap on the speed button. Then I tap on freeze frame. Then you choose how many seconds. The more seconds, the slower the motion will be. When you're done, tap on the upper right corner. There'll be a check mark, although you can't see it here with the clouds. After clicking on the check mark, you'll see the tiny moment expand into five seconds of video. If you watch the video, there are very few frames there. You could even count them. Watch. Play the video. One, two, three, four, five. Just five frames of video got expanded into five seconds of video. Now when you play the video, you won't see the freeze frame effect. To see that, you need to render the video first. With just five frames, somehow the 1R can make a smooth video out of that. Not only that, but we can also keyframe this. Watch. So we've added a keyframe there. Now let's render it again. Now here's the video with keyframing. And the amazing thing is, I can't see any artifacts, even with the camera movement. Now I wish the panning was a little bit smoother, but this looks amazing. You can also use the freeze frame effect with other mods such as the one inch mod. You can even combine this effect with other Insta361R effects such as the new flash dash. Now if you want to learn how to edit videos like this, check out my next tutorial. So the tests I've seen so far look pretty impressive. So now let's try it with other things. <laughs> okay. All right, Vicious, beat it up. <laughs> Like whack, a big wallop. Let's see how it looks. For comparison, I've included a regular 1R video with the slow motion effect applied in Premiere. So there are some artifacts, but the video is pretty smooth and usable. This is really impressive, but you're wondering, what's the equivalent FPS? To match the speed in Premiere, I found that I had to slow the footage down to 3.36% speed. In other words, 30 times slower. Now to play this slow motion at 30 FPS, this is the equivalent of shooting at 900 FPS. Then I wondered, what about freeze frame at 10 seconds? I thought it would be just twice as slow, but it's not. Now this time, there are more noticeable artifacts, but to me, the video still looks usable. Now wait till you find out what's the equivalent speed. Yeah, I found that to match the speed in Premiere, I had to slow the footage down to 1.27% speed. That's 80 times slower. To play this video at 30 FPS, this is the equivalent of shooting at 2400 FPS. And now it's time for a real experiment. How does it look when they punch me? For science. You first. Ayo! Ah! In the face? Yeah. Somewhere. No, no, not the oh. neck. Oh. The face! Ah! <laughs> now my ears are ringing. <laughs> what? It wasn't even recording? Just oh like, my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you hit my ear again. <laughs> Unfortunately, even after all that pain and suffering, I couldn't get a good slow-mo of my face being punched. Oh well. 
At least I got a slow mo of my kids laughing. Hey, don't miss my next tutorial for the Insta360 1R. See you in 360.